Hey, what's going on dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to FTOG on the Qantas server. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic today. So check this out. I have been digging a tunnel. <laughs> I wanted to connect this area up to spawn without having to like run through my base and that's like really the only way to get there. So I dug this tunnel and it came out over here right behind our little fishing hut. So I think this is actually a pretty decent spot. We can connect it up here if we want to. I originally thought about maybe doing it down here, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's a better idea. Let's see. What Y level are we on over here? If we can do it over there, then I can fill all this in. That's no big deal. And I think that might be a little bit nicer. It'd be much shorter too, and it'd kind of take up some of that area that's over there in spawn that nobody seems to be using. Um, so let's hope let's go over there real quick and maybe just dig through and see. So we're at Y level 60, or is that 68? I think it's 68. I can't really see it. Um, so we're still a little, a few blocks above C level, I think. So we'll come over here. How far does this drop? 67 so this wouldn't be a bad spot to be honest uh, I'd probably fill all this in here so let's go ahead and do that real quick let's just take out some of these little trees and stuff going on down at the bottom since it's all just like kind of these little derpy trees get rid of you get rid of you get rid of you and we have a pond great um, let's knock you out. I'm gonna replant some trees over here so it doesn't look quite as barren. But for now, I gotta get them out of our work spot. So, let's do you. And then, actually, let's grab our lumber axe. That'll be a little bit easier. Boom, you're dead. Boom, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead too. Alright, so that opens up the area quite a bit. And I think this will be good. Let's grab our excavator here. So we're at Y level 69. So let's come down here like so. And then let's just dig through like this. Get rid of all the dirt first and then we'll come back in with the hammer. You can go. All of you can go. You can go, sir. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the reason I wanted to make this tunnel is it's kind of a pain to get to this uh, with the hanging gardens and stuff in the very back so it's a little bit difficult because you got to run all the way up my path and stuff like that so I wanted to make a quick nice easy route to get back here if anybody is interested in coming to visit or you know if they want to pass through I think link is making up a I think he's doing a minecart from his base to over there but it'd also be nice for him to have kind of like a footpath to get through and from um, and it'd also be nice for me to have a footpath to kind of get to and from instead of taking uh, my long staircase every now and then. <laughs> it just kind of depends on what mood you want to be in when you do this. So I don't know. I think it'll be, I think it'll be okay. So that's what we're going to be working on today. And I think it, it's going to be a lot of decorating, a lot of building, a lot of just playing around with different textures to see what all we can come up with. And I think that's cool. I think it'll be fun because. I've been wanting to do this tunnel for a while and I want to do something different than the blocks that I have been using with my base and pie in the sky and all that kind of stuff because those blocks they look really nice but I don't think they'd really fit in for the, uh, the hanging gardens here I'd really I really wish that we had the blocks from Botania I'd love to use living rock for this tunnel and like living wood those kind of colors but we don't have that available to us just yet so we'll have to kind of make do and maybe we can put in just some like filler blocks and you know do whatever we need to for right now but we'll see all right so we need to dig the ceiling out one more up here so let's do that and then I guess what I'll do is I'll go grab the stuff because I want I want our path that we did for everything else over by the hanging gardens to carry through here and I think it'll actually look really nice when it's all set up and done. So I'd like to use kind of more nature-y stuff instead of kind of man-made blocks and all that. So I think that's what we're going to use. So what else? We need to dig out the walls. We will carry that over like so. 
on both sides. We'll come out to about right here. I think we'll be fine. Man, we're getting some major block leg today. Like it's it's kind of bad at times. <laughs> um, let's switch you out, and then we'll come back and put you over here. Who's that? It's Grok. Um, so like so, and then we'll do like so. We'll just kind of carry this all the way through. I think it'll look cool when it's all said and done. So let me finish this real quick. I'll go grab our stuff to do the pathway, and then we'll come back. We'll lay that in, and then we'll kind of just go on from there. Oh no. Oh no. We're stuck. Come on, man. Uh, let's go over here. Knock out our torches. <laughs> Gotta fill all this in. Uh, this is where the original path came through. But if we come up this way, like so. Oh, that's not gonna fill. There's gonna be one random torch under there. Um, then we can fill all that in, like so. And then. We're not out of cobble. Is that just all the durability that I have left, maybe? Oh, I guess it is. Interesting. Uh, that's okay. Got a crafting table on a stick. Let's do this. And we'll make another builder's wand. Like so. And boop. <laughs> boop. Oh, and then I forgot the dirt. Okay, so I want to fill the rest of that in. Kind of just make this look flush. So we'll take care of that a little bit later on. But for now, it'll be okay. So. Let's see, we've got everything that we're going to need for our pathway here. We will need to make some daytime happen. So we'll do that. And then crafting table on a stick. Let's get some stone slabs going. That should be okay for now. Let's just go ahead and use up that so it saves an inventory spot. And then I think, I think we're good. All right, so. How I'm going to do this is we need to run through here, get rid of all these glow balls for right now, at least in the front area. They look okay. We'll get rid of all the glow balls in the middle, and then we'll run back around the outside with our tool. Ooh, it's dark in here. Uh, let's grab our hammer, like so, and then we can run around the top side edges. Let's see if that's helping. Okay, so we'll need to run across the other side too. Um, builders one. Boop. <laughs> uh, where to go? Hammer. Thank you, sir. I think we're all set. We'll jump up here. We'll do the same thing along this side. So, if you've never seen me build these, uh, oh no, switch. If you've never seen me build these paths before, I start by laying down the gravel. And it's a very random process, but what I do is I just kind of run around, spam gravel, and then I go back and fill up the gaps. So what we're going to do is we will start about right here for right now, and then we'll just kind of run backwards. We'll just place a bunch of random gravel. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. This is how it's done. <laughs> you can't really keep up with it. Uh, you see how quick this is? Especially if you got a lot of gravel, you can you can just like rip through the gravel really, really quickly. So that's why I always suggest having a lot of gravel. Oh, you know what? I think right here, we're going to drop it down a level. So what we'll do is you'll have like a stair step going in. Uh, probably about like right here. So we'll call this just kind of like the end. And I think that actually looks pretty good. It's pretty random. There's no real pattern to it. There is a lot of gravel right here though. So let's take up some of this. You you since it's only three wide we don't want like an abundance of gravel and so I think this would be good take out that block take out this block and then maybe we'll place one right there we'll take this guy out I think that'll be good and so after I do that I do cobblestone which I'm actually going to do cobblestone slabs just so I kind of save on materials not that cobblestone is really a problem, but um, it just does. It kind of adds up, especially over time when you're doing a lot of these paths. <laughs> I did run out of cobble when I was doing the uh, the pathway on the donuts before last episode. So we got to be kind of a little conscious about our cobble consumption here. And I think we should, whoop, we should be okay. And then we're going to do stone bricks. Did I make... 
no, we're gonna have to make some stone bricks. So we'll do that, and then I'll make slabs out of those too, so you get about two stacks per stack. Um, cobble, cobble. There, and we're also gonna come back in, and we'll probably use grass. So I'll have to get some silk touch going, like so. I think that'll be okay. And we'll just lay these here for now, so we kind of know that that's our defined end. Um, and then now, what we want to do, let's go ahead and make our stone brick slabs, like so. And then we can just kind of come back and spam some of these throughout the whole thing. So, all to, like all together when this is done, um, it makes for a very random, in my opinion, This is that, that's what makes the path look good. The more random it is, the better. Uh, and I want to leave some of these spots open so we can put some grass in here. And one of the ideas that I did have is we could put grass along the sides. Whoops, glow ball. Um, and then we can grow stuff on it. So we may end up doing that and just leave the center stone. Or have maybe some grass kind of like around the outer edges. So we wouldn't have any... Well, we can maybe put grass in the middle. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> There's just so many options. Um, different things you can do and once we get this uh, the kind of the basic tunnel going I would like to play around with some of the fairy lights and string some of that stuff along the edge I think it'd be pretty awesome. So we've got a little bit of work ahead of us So let me go ahead and lay down the rest of this path here and figure out how we're gonna get the grass in here And then we will be right back All right, so this is what we got. I've laid out a ton of dirt I filled in all the spots in the path and then I also dug up the corners or the sides and I laid out a bunch of grass, so just over time, this grass should take over <laughs> all of this in here. It's just going to take forever. I would try to sit here and do the watering can, and it works, but it's just still, it's so slow. So, we'll just kind of have to let it do it on its own and just kind of help push it along when it needs a little help. <laughs> but as you can see, it doesn't really like to grow in here. I think maybe just because the light is so low. But, yeah, now we're out of water. So, oh well, we'll just kind of let it do its thing and then we'll move on. So, next things I want to do is I want to lay in some pillars. So we got these kind of here to mark the entrance and exit on the hanging garden side of the tower. And I'd like to figure out a pattern here that we can do with some of these supports kind of just going across. And maybe, how many blocks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so that's not bad. Let's try three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Am I doing that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How is that? And then if we do that one there, and then do it this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we could maybe pull the entrance out here just a little bit and get rid of some of this and cover it all in with dirt or something on top. I think that would work. Um, and then let's come back through here like so, and we'll just kind of lay out the other side. Now this I'm not sure about. If the grass grows to here, it may stop. So what I'm thinking I'll do is we'll lay in all the pillars and I'll take out the bottom blocks just so it's all dirt across and then that way it can actually move across and spawn um, or grow and finish up all of this just that way we don't block it off somewhere and it can't finish growing and we're just stuck with dirt patches on the inside here so I won't like that very much two three four five six seven alright so this one's gonna be a little bit different but that's okay like I said we'll do that for that one and then, how many blocks is here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so at least it, it matches up here. I don't think it'll be too. I don't think it'll be too bad. <laughs> All right, we're getting somewhere. All right, so one of the things I want to check out too with this architecture craft is I want to see how these arches look with just the logs. Um, so how wide is this one? It would be three. Right, so we want this one. So there's one, two, and then three. All right, so let's make this guy. And then we'll make this guy. We need two of those. 
And then we need two of these. I th think is how this works? No, I don't think that's right. So this would go... Let's put some dirt right here. This... Wait, where'd it go? This one, part C, would go right here. Right, and then part two, go right there. Yeah, already not liking it. <laughs> um, and then those would go there. Like the archway, it looks pretty cool. And it would add some nice features here, but I don't think we want to use the logs for it. Um, so maybe just some spruce wood. All right, so let's let's chunk those carrots. You can have some of these archways. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Let's do. Whoops, give me this. Pick up, please. Let's take these guys. We'll make these into planks so we don't use up a whole stack. We'll throw that in there. We'll take two of these guys. That's part C, B, and then we'll take these guys here. How do you look? What happened? You placed the wrong way. No, wrong one. Okay, do you not want to place the right way? I place you like that. You're still curvy the wrong way. Can you do opposite of what you're doing, please? You were almost there. Uh, Alright, I don't get it. We'll put you there. You there. 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 Now are you going to work? You still have not worked. Okay, now you worked. So that's pretty cool. If we had a layer of dirt... Well, I'd say a layer of dirt. Let's get rid of you. Put the dirt up one more. So if we did something kind of like that, so you could actually see the archway, That would be kind of cool. Uh, the problem I have with that, though, is those corners. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it over here. So we need two of you and two of you. So we'll try boom, boom, like that. <sighs> eh. I'm not so sure, man. Uh, maybe I'm just going to go vanilla style here. And then we can just pull them across like that. Though I think if we do that, I want to pull the ceiling up one more. <laughs> I think. I think vanilla is getting the better of me right now. Um, <clears throat> my vanilla building, anyway. So if we pull the ceiling up some more, like so. And then we were to run our pillar across like that. See, I think that's just going to end up looking better. We could maybe... Let's see, what kind of arches can we do with just one? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we could just like kind of arch these some. Maybe we could do that. Or maybe just put like a little bit of it on there. So let's take some of these. Actually, oh no, we got these guys. What does this look like? So something like that wouldn't be bad, but this whole whole deal of majig right here, I don't like. So that's what we're gonna do. We gotta dig out the ceiling. All right, we're about to do some chiseling, but I saw this and I want to see what this does. Um, this is called the eye chisel. It says, not implemented yet, but it looks like we can craft it. So, it says, can target a block by leaving it in the inventory, which I'm not sure what that means. So, we need a gold ingot, and then we need a piece of redstone. And, like so, eye chisel. Oh, what are you? Let's see. I wanted some... Actually, you know what? We'll put those back. 
keep those there for safekeeping, and I'll take some of me 15 stacks <laughs> of stone here, and we'll just make some uh, some new stone bricks. All right, so what do you do? Ew! That is awesome. Okay. So now we can just kind of chisel these however we want to. What? What? Okay. Uh, chisel. Oh, you can chisel smooth stone into mossy stone bricks. That's cool. Let's do that. Chisel. Chisel. Oh, and it like cycles through everything too, and it shows you like what you have. Oh, that's kind of cool, man. Um, there's probably some better uses for it than just switching blocks around like that, but I don't know. That might be kind of cool. All right, so let's head down here, and I chiseled the wrong thing. I wanted some spruce wood. <laughs> I want to put some sort of a spruce wood plank, chiseled spruce wood plank, whoop, in that gap that I carved out, just to kind of add like some flowage to the whole thing. So let's go grab some spruce wood. How much spruce wood planks do I have? I have nine stacks. I think that should be good. All right, so let's use our eye chisel again and put that in here. Which one do we want to use? Uh, large. Does it just kind of like show you what it looks like? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Single panel. I like that. It really it like makes it easy to see these textures because it's just like if it's just like this, it's a little more difficult to see what they would look like. And I think that we will do one of those guys. Smooth. Okay, and it moved on to the next stack. That's pretty neat. Let's do this stack here. And then we'll do this one. Uh... Like this. Okay, so that'll work. We'll take the smooth and then these guys. Since it's an odd number down in the tunnel, we can have one in the middle and then kind of the rest of the textures along the side. Right, so that's my thinking here. So we'll put that one there. And we can put these guys here like so. Just kind of along each one of these little... Just to kind of add some direction to it. I'm not sure about those. They don't look awful, but let me finish up the whole thing here and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I did a thing. <laughs> um, I changed up the pattern here and I dug these out just a little bit to give a little bit more depth to this whole area and it just be like places where we can put some leaves or have something growing down at the bottom and all that kind of sort of stuff. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do here though since this is an odd or an even number and not an odd like all the other ones here. Um, I'm gonna have to come up with something else but I think it should be a pretty easy fix. Are we not? Oh, we're, there's no grass around here. I thought there was gonna be grass somewhere around here. Let's do... Let's do this. Let's put in... Oh, we only got one piece of dirt. Let's put that there and then we'll take you I know I could probably just go around and silk touch everything, get all the grass that we need, but that would just take a long time. So we could even make a new tool, but I just don't feel like doing that either. So we're going to stick with what we got. Um, now we got to figure out what we want to do for these other blocks. And I don't know if I want to keep these or not. It's not a bad look, but I don't know if there's a way to like round off the corners here. Uh, rounded new inner corner cap let's just see oh that does the uh, the chiseled texture let's try to convert some of this back to normal uh, yeah why not we'll chisel it all back to normal and we'll put that in here is this what we're gonna want I don't think it is 
No, it would work on the corner, but we want it to go the other way. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. That'll be okay. So, eh, we could do something like that. Which wouldn't be bad either, but I want more green in here. So now we got to figure out how we want to do that. So, I think I'm going to exchange all the bare-faced bare rocks um, or stone with a mix between normal, uh, what is this called? Normal stone bricks. And, actually, hold on. Let's do, what other mossy, what other brick textures can we get? Alright, that one's weird. That one, that is not bad. Let's try this real quick. So this one is the Celtic. So if we put that up here, what would that look like? That's pretty cool, man. I'm not gonna lie. And then we could do like a mix of normal. Let's do. Let's just get some normal bricks here. We could do a mix of normal brick. It's kind of on the bottom. Eh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to play around with some designs here and uh, see what all we can come up with, but I think we're getting close. Alright, dude, so it's actually been a couple of days since the last time I recorded and the last clip you guys saw. I tossed that, I don't want it. Um, but I had a little bit of time to play but not record, and I went ahead and tied up all the paths that we had going around here. So you, you saw the cobblestone blocks and stuff that we had kind of laid out for the rough draft of the paths. And uh, I just went ahead and laid it all in. So I spent a little bit of time just connecting everything up and making it look a little bit nicer. So this place is starting to come along very nice. And we definitely need to add a little bit more foliage, like some trees and bushes and um, stuff like that. I think I will be moving this garden to some of these smaller areas here. And I gotta get rid of those vines, those drive me nuts. Um, but yeah, we don't need the farms to be this big, like, at all. And I think that we are going to add in some custom trees. And I'll show you one, I actually, I've actually done quite a bit of work. And I, I just wanted to save some time in this video to show you kind of what was going on. But we got our tunnel done for the most part here. I still have to lay in a couple more blocks here in the ceiling, but I think this came out really, really cool. Um, we got, this is what I'm adding in right now, and I'm not 100% sure on this block because it is kind of bright, but I think it actually looks pretty cool, and this is made from using these stone slabs. If you do this, um, you can get the original stone block like this. This used to be a, a vanilla thing very long ago, <laughs> and, uh, they got rid of it, but I, oh my goodness, why does that take so long to break? I don't remember it taking that long to break. I guess maybe it does. Does this have any uses? No. I guess it's just a way to store slabs, maybe? <laughs> um, but yeah. So, we've got that kind of going for the ceiling here, and I've added in a bunch of bushes and stuff like that. A couple little water features in here down at the corner. And I think that came out really, really nice because you can kind of see a waterfall from each side. <laughs> I think it ties in so once we add a few more water features and stuff over here underneath the hanging gardens it'll kind of make a little bit more sense just to kind of you know tie the colors all in together green blue brown um, all those different things so you can kind of get an idea for it but we came over here and I connected it up to the actual spawn path here which is cool so we had kind of like this little dip and there wasn't anything going on here so the fish farm is right here and I just made this staircase coming down and uh, wraps into that tunnel and goes back around. So I think it came out really cool, man. I like it. I added in this custom tree. You can kind of tell it's pretty bad, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's okay. I could probably go in and add, get rid of some more of these like sharper angles and stuff like that. But it took so long to gather up all the leaves. I was kind of tired of it. Oh, it looks like I missed a spot here too. I need to fill that in with some leaves. But, uh, yeah, so this episode, I think, is already getting pretty long, and that's why I wanted to just kind of speed this process up and get done with all this, because what we really need to be doing 
is we need to go find a place where we're gonna set up shop for ourselves like we have this nice little spot up here but once we get into the next era we're gonna have a bunch of magic stuff going on and we're gonna need a lot of space so I want to kind of spread my wings a little bit and go see if we can find a cool spot um, we're gonna be kind of split between this area here our base here and wherever we're gonna set up our magic stuff so we're not leaving this all behind permanently uh, but we'll just kind of come back and forth as we need it so yeah we're probably gonna work on that next episode but uh yeah I think it came out pretty cool man got the pathway all connected I think it's looking cool so I think next episode between this episode and next episode I'm gonna try to add a bunch of trees and just kind of different foliage and flowers and gardens and stuff like that all around this area to see if I can make it come to life even more and uh, we'll kind of go from there but anyways dudes I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here hopefully you guys enjoyed <laughs> um, let me know what you think about all this if you like it if you don't like it all that kind of stuff things I can change if you got ideas that we could do make sure you leave it all in a comment down below and let me know um, but yeah so anyways dudes go check out everybody else on the server there are links down in the description below and uh, I think that's gonna do it for me today so hit that like button for me down below subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next episode alright thanks so much for watching peace yeah.